everybody, my name is With a Dance Number. Um, this is going to be part one of a multi part series about a game that I really enjoyed. Um, I played it once before, maybe about half a year to a year ago now, and it was one of the best RPGs I've ever, ever played. And I've played Chrono Trigger, I've played Earthbound, um, I've played Final Fantasy VII, you, you know, I've played all the classics. This one made in Game Maker. Um, I don't know if it was Game Maker Studio or RPG Maker. I think it was RPG Maker. Um, but it really it does a, a great job at doing what RPGs are supposed to do, and that that is telling a story and bringing you into a, a different world. So, um, give you a, a little bit of a brief rundown of the game. It's made by the developer Dingaling, who now goes by Brad Loves You. I believe is the name of the studio now and it's a game about survival sacrifice and perverts and, and you'll see pretty quickly what we mean by that um, as we get into this game so without any further ado let's uh let's get this going it's got an awesome soundtrack too love it You little thief. Stop! Stop! Leave him alone! Shut up, Brad. He stole our ball. I stole it. Rick didn't do anything. What? You little bitch! I should warn you right now, this game does have some flashing lights, um, some graphic scenes, some disturbing scenes. Idiots! Let's go, guys! Oh, poor little Brad. He's got his ass kicked. Look at him. Thanks, Brad. All right, and uh, I have control now. Blocked. Hey, right, who's this guy? Hello. Oh, Bradley! What are you gonna learn, boy? No, oh, apparently, Brad gets beaten up quite often. Not my house either. Some flowers. Pretty little flowers, some trees. Alright. We're just gonna keep walking to the right here. Listen to that soundtrack. Really setting the mood here. Oh, whose house do you think this is? Once again, my son steps into my house. Beat to shit! Oh no, Brad. I'm not buying you another shirt. Worthless shit, kid. Go to your room. Now! Aw, look at how sad he is. And this is the least painful part of the game. Welcome to Lisa. You took some joy. What the hell? 
Uh. <laughs> it's okay, little buddy. <laughs> Just toss that baby around, Brad. Oh my god! I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. There we go. Good baby. Come on, little buddy. Let's get you somewhere safe. And off we walk. The little baby. <laughs> Brad! Who is that? Holy shit! Is that a baby? Yeah. Whoa. A baby? Where'd you get that? I don't know. I just found it laying on the ground. Jeez. Dudes, wait! You know what this means? This means there's a girl out there! Whoa! That means there's hope for humanity! Whoa! I bet she's super hot! Totally! Guys, this is serious! I just gave these guys like five different voices. Is it a boy or a girl? Uh, I didn't check. It's a girl! Wow! We need to tell someone! Rando! If we came to him with this, we'd be set for life! All the food and cool stuff we want! Dope, dude! That's actually not a bad idea. The Rando army would be better equipped for something like this. No. No one can know I have her. She's a baby now, but she'll be a woman in no time. She wouldn't stand a chance out there. Brad, that's insane. You'll keep her a secret your whole life? Do you know what would happen if anyone found out? I don't care. I'm keeping her. Brad! I don't care if you guys help me or not. I'm not going to give her up. This is my second chance. Jeez, Brad. Don't worry, little buddy. I won't let anyone hurt you. They're digging a secret tunnel under the house. Look at that. He's just gonna stare at this baby. What the hell? Take the joy and it all goes away.
Oh, she's crying. He threw away the joy. He made her a mask. <laughs> Brad seems like a nice guy. Don't do it, Brad. You don't need him. Oh, Brad, you piece of shit. Hey! You there! Wild beast won't leave me alone. I'd slay him myself, but I pulled my groin climbing this tree. So give me a hand, will you? <laughs> All right, here we go. Armstrong style. Cheese legs. All right, let's do this. Cheese legs. W A S D. Oh, that's loud. So you can just press like the different WASD buttons and different combos to do different attacks. And I'm actually, I know this is a bad part way through the video, but I'm gonna just gonna Alt Tab and drop the volume down just to, uh, another couple of ticks here. Brad has leveled up. New skills, Buster punches, all your stats go up. Brad has nothing to say. He's dejected and sad. You're pretty tough for a whacked out midlife crisis looking bald guy. You seem like you can handle a lot of pain. Like, maybe you can handle some kind of pain related difficulty setting, huh? Am I correct? So, this is where the game... I, the first time I played this game, I actually I, I played on pain mode for maybe a few hours. And then realized that the game doesn't pull any punches. So, what happens on pain mode is the game like any other RPG has save points. Now on pain mode, those save points, once you use them, they're gone forever. So there's a limited amount of saves for the whole game. And then to couple with that, um, there's enemies in the game that have a much, much higher chance to instant kill one of your party members, removing them from the game entirely. So um, for the sake of keeping things moving smoothly, we're going to go with normal mode. Huh, that sucks. Anyway, would have helped, but like like I said, I hurt my, my, my age string. I'm Terry Hintz. People call me the Lord of the Tutorial. I've been traveling the lands, leaving my hints for all to see. I'm a pretty big deal. Got a lot of fans. Wait. You seem pretty lonely. Since I'm a nice guy, I'll keep you company. Cool, it's settled. Terry Hintz joined you. So this little red balloon right here, this is the one tutorial that the game will give you to tell you that... There you are. If this balloon wasn't here, you would walk off this cliff and die. 
this balloon just saved your life. And it's being serious about that. There's many cliffs in this game that you can walk off of and die. We're going to pick up those bottles um, that can be used in the game. Bottles. Bottles can be very useful. You can sell them, fill them, or make firebombs with them. Or even just throw them in battle. So pick them up. Oh, thanks, Jerry Hints. So, that's my one of my old saves. We're just gonna... File 2. Saving! You can save your game by consulting with the crow. Somebody's gotta remember you. I should read these in Terry's voice. Jumping! When you're standing in front of a short enough ledge, you can hold the up button and press the spacebar to jump up. And hold the down button and press the spacebar to drop down. Try it out! T-Man hints! So, with the pain mode, this crow, after I saved, would have just exploded into nothingness. Oh, uh, I guess I, I'll... You know what? We'll save. I'll show you. So this is what happens when you don't jump up. And that's it. That's game over. And there's a lot of cliffs like that. So you can imagine uh, pain mode might make things a little, little interesting. Caution! Be wary of Terry's good looks. They are dangerously appealing. Always looking out, Tear Bear. Uh, thanks, Tear Bear. Resting. If you find a campfire, you can rest. Your party will be fully revived, but be careful. You're vulnerable when you sleep. Anything can happen. But what choice do you have? Sweet Terry wine. Well, that's another thing that can happen in this game. You can rest to heal. And in fact, it's one of the only ways to fully heal your party in this game. But there's a chance of really bad things happening. And in pain mode, those happen more often. So again, normal mode. Um, we didn't need to rest though, so we're just going to carry forward. Just walk. It. Oh my. Look at, look at those little splashes. Splash, splash. Secrets out, Brad. Uh, she's gone. Oh, he's dead. Sorry, guy. There's something out there that I gotta do alone. What happened? I can't really tell you. But come on, bro. This looks serious. Someone close to me is missing. I need to find that person. That's really all I can say. Oh, shoot. That's sad, dude. I, I figured you need someone to protect you. I, I don't. I'll tag along, I guess. Considering I'm, I'm a very strong warrior. Terry Hint joined you again. Thanks, Terry. Oh my god. He's dead. A picture of the sky that Buddy drew. Picture of Buddy's uncles. Rick, Sticky, and Cheeks. He's dead. Picture of a happy family. You found a rusty knife. He's dead. He's dead. Alrighty. I'm gonna press the menu key here. I wonder if I can equip that rusty knife. No, Brad uses wristbands. What is that item for then? It is a weapon. Don't use this on your dinner, you'll get sick. It can cause poison. Alright, well, it's for someone. Can Terry equip it? Hint Lord Sweatbands. No, we cannot. Right. Off we go then, I guess. Everything's ruined. We gotta go. F we gotta go find Buddy. Fuck. Oh no. Sorry for my language there. Oh man. <laughs> Jeez, game. You really like to 
like to be painful, don't you? All right, so we're gonna go walk back in this direction and watch that cutscene again because uh, I walked off cliff. I guess I I didn't really have to show you that demo earlier. I should have known that was coming. Splash, splash. There's Terry. And we're gonna just mash through this cutscene here. Been there, seen that, you know what I mean. We'll probably get a bit of this in this uh, let's play. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, sad shit, people died. All right, let's go on. And we're gonna go in here and we'll get our rusty knife. And as we are aware previously, they're all dead. All right, let's go. Now, if I walk off this cliff again, um, that's <laughs> that's it for the episode. We'll just, I'm just gonna light everything on fire. Now, I feel like it's coming. No, it's after the campfire. All right, we can relax a bit. Yeah, the, the nice music starts playing again. Gets in your head. You get the nice rhythm going. Ooh, look at how fast that comes up. One, two. You get two steps. One, two. To like not fall off that ledge. Savage. Alright, let's save. This is one of my favorite tracks in the game. Oh, we needed to go to the left, I think. There's gonna be a lot of me walking around aimlessly. It's like I said, it's been a while since I played the game and um, the navigation's kind of difficult. Hopefully that song's not too loud. Um, should be okay though. I turned most things down. If it is, we'll try and tune in for the next episode. This is, you know, part one of the series. Might have to do a little bit of adjusting here or there, but we'll make it work. All right, so we're going back to the left now. Oh, look at all that. Oh, hey, dead man. All right, let's keep walking. Oh, all right, well, down the rope we go. This is where he threw the pills, right? Oh my god. He's holding something. You find a Diet Coca-Cola. Thanks, buddy. You're pretty, you're pretty dead, aren't you? All right, let's go. Now, yeah, that's what I thought, game. You found some mystery jerky. Oh boy, mystery jerky! Look at this. This one only gives you two as well. See, screen transitions into unknown areas in this game. You wanna just be a little. A little light-handed. More mystery jerky. Uh, where is it that I'm supposed to be going? Was there a way to get over on the right there? Oh, minus 10. <laughs> how, how much is that? Oh, I got lots of HP. Um, oh, you know what? I go up here and then over here. Alright. Problem solved. That's just me being dumb. Combos! Some characters can use combos in Battle via the WASD buttons. Additional special attacks can be performed by entering a specific combo. In your skills menu, you can figure out how to do special moves by looking at the button sequence. For example, WWS does buster punches. Does that make sense? Wary Terry! Alright, so check out skill. Well, buster punch is the only skill I've got. WWS, an Armstrong classic. Cool. So we have our first mini boss here. Out of my way! I want that little bitch all to myself! Whoa, man. Just chill. Alright. Armstrong, Armstrong style. So, look, here's Terry. He's a, he's a boss. Execute. <laughs> Zero damage. Alright. WWS. Look at that. Big damage. I can give an enthusiastic chant. I believe that's a heal. Try out. Yeah, look at that. OK, 
<laughs> nice move, Terry. Keep it up. Proud of you. This battle music's awesome, too. So we're just going to keep mashing into this guy. You know, early RPG fights, they're often, you know, the same. You, you just attack and attack and attack. There's old salmon swimming downstream tonight. All right, later, dog. I do have to say the volume's kind of all over the place in this game. All right, your gang won the battle. Beautiful. Terry the Hitster's moving on up. Hey man, he's dead. All right, this little cave here. I can't believe it. Such an ugly girl. He's dead. Everybody's dead. They're all dead. You're dead. He's dead. Oh, I smell a secret. I, oh yeah, this is, look at this, check this out, boom, minus 100, secret stash, 50 magazines, magazines are this game's form of currency, the magazines, they're actually porno mags, um, if you haven't caught on, this is a, a, a fallout type post-apocalyptic world, except there, there's no women. Hey, I'm not dead yet, you prick. Come here so I can kick your ass. Oh, all right. That's right, tough guy. You fell right in my trap. Dude, you're barely breathing. I'm pretty sure we can take you. Oh, god damn it. Here's a hit. You suck. I rule. Ugh. Terry the Hitster's moving on up! Sick drops! Look at that. Sick drops all over the place. I want that item down there. I don't know how to get to it. Is it... Do I, do I move to the right from here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there it is. You found some mystery jerky. Love me some mystery jerky. Oh, I see an item down there, too. Beauty. All right, man. I'm going to stay here and block the entrance. You guys go around in case she's already been through here. Oh, you got it, boss. Sugar Boy Drifters, out! Oh, you see, you see that little item down there? I see you. I see you down there. I'm gonna get you. Look at, look at that lighting. <laughs> oh yeah. It's the future of gaming right there. Oh baby. It's like a clock spinning around in a circle. You found some perfume. I believe perfume is the mana potions of this world. For some reason, climbing up ladders gets a little laggy in this game. I, I haven't figured that out. Is this a joke, bold man? Uh, you think you can handle what's going on out there? Huh. I'll give you a little taste. All right, Elvis wannabe. Shook him out. <laughs> All right, what can you take? Verbal bash. This can either make them cry or get pissed. Let's do it. Oh my lord, Terry, you're gonna die. Well, let's try and verbal bash again before you die. He's pissed. Oh, I pressed too many W's there. Oh, 
Oh my lord! Maybe I shouldn't have made him so pissed off. Oh, he attacked himself! Damn it! Hopefully she's already dead so I can see her in hell! <laughs> he hit himself with a critical hit. Well, I guess you're not getting any experience, Terry. Sorry, bud. Get that item up there. What the fuck do I get you? Or like, how don't I get you? You found some domestic- Oh, fuck. Holla holla! If you hear me. Really need to get that off my chest. He's dead. Man. Everybody's dead. They're dead. He's dead. Looks like something pretty bad happened out here. So there's Save Crow. Um, that's going to do it for this first episode of Lisa the Painful RPG. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Let me know in the comments. Uh, be sure to follow if you haven't already. Um, also, check out my Overwatch series. It's a uh, decently top-level Overwatch that I'm playing right now. Um, you, you can tune in for that live on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash with a dance number. Otherwise, this series will keep going on its own. I'm going to try and get out a couple of episodes a week. No set schedule as of now. I don't want to commit to anything um, that I can't promise. But I'll do my best to try and get out a couple a week. Um, like I said, though, um, this game is really excellent. One of the best RPGs I've played. So hopefully you stick around for it. Or even better, um, if you enjoyed what you've seen in this first episode, drop this series right here. Go buy the game on Steam and experience it for yourself. Otherwise, I'll be looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.